Uh, SP and distinguished colleagues, we are just starting the session, and as we go, we should be taking note of the small, small mistakes that we can make, and we should correct them. The issue of saying that you have ruled, if the ruling is wrong, even the Supreme Court, when it passes judgment, the thing which uh, Chief Whip Chief. It is not respect what uh, with uh, his motion, so that we don't continue to repeat this mistake again and again. It's order 63. With the permission, I read. The President of the Senate, in the Senate, and the Chairman in any committee shall be responsible for the observance of the rules of order in the Senate and committee respectively. And their decision upon any point of order shall not be upon, shall, shall be open to appeal, shall not be open to appeal, shall not be open to appeal, and shall not be reviewed by the Senate except upon a substantive motion after notice. So once you have ruled, nobody can bring up that matter again until a notice is given and a started motion is tabled. So once you rule, you have ruled. Except we want to go against this. The, as, as the point of order is order 54 and the responsibility of the chief whip. Is it 54? The chief whip. Just as a way of, you know, advising the Senate on the way we do things. Mr. President, this is the Senate. This is the Senate. And we should not shy away from learning. Uh, uh, sorry, the clerk, can I have that uh, order 54? Hmm? Order 54. Order 54 says the rules committee shall locate time to all sequence of speeches, motions, or bills coming before the Senate. So as we are coming under Order 54, this is what is written there. So I'm sorry, Leader, we rule you out of order. Yes, Leader of the Senate. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to move 